Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Drone Camps channel and welcome to our new workshop and studio for showing you all the latest new drones, racer drones, aerial drones, and cool new toy drones that are coming out uh, from our friends over at GearBest.com. You can check this one out in the link below. This is actually the WL Toys air tank and this one has two different modes on it ground mode and air mode so this is really interesting that it has tank treads on it it's a little different than what i've seen before the previous versions that i've seen of ground vehicles for quads combo quad ground vehicle had wheels on them so they were kind of like an rc car you could drive across the ground but this one has tank treads and it has a carbon spar in the front and the rear to give it a little more rigidity in the frame and hold these treads together and it looks like it has gears up top it also has a wi-fi camera on the front in this edition so you can see the real-time video on your smartphone right on the controller so pretty cool we're going to go through some of the modes on the controller for you i'm going to show you the controller a few other things that come in the box. So we'll go ahead and put this on the bench and show you a little closer look at the air tank. Then we'll go outside and we'll do a flight test and a ground test. Okay guys, here it is. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the air tank and then we'll go outside and we'll do a flight test and a ground test of this super cool sort of convertible style quad. Now it has sort of a, a police department looking cover that this can pop on and off. There's little tabs underneath each arm that the little plastic bends and you can pop that off you've got leds front and rear and they look pretty cool and there's a blue led on the rear from the bottom you can see the camera under here and it also comes with a four gigabyte sd card micro sd card so you can record your videos while you're flying and that's super cool you can also take photos and view the camera view in real time right on the transmitter monitor this one snaps right on there and i got the 5.8 gigahertz version make sure that you use your little battery charger and you charge this monitor up the first time before you go out to fly because this low power mode here i just got this turned on for the first time so uh, there's a little tiny little port right there you can plug this into and then plug it into any usb port probably take about an hour or so to charge uh, but the real-time view is really nice here no lag at all you can see Pretty decent, pretty decent. And it is a neat design. Like I said, it does have tank treads on both sides and they're featuring tri-props now, which is super awesome. And you get two sets of those along with the kit. You also get some additional arms in here for extra parts and your 2S battery charger. And it's a 2S 1000 battery that comes along with this. So it should give us a pretty decent flight time. Also a JST connector, so if you want to charge this on your standalone charger, you can. That's also really, really cool. And you have your camera up front, and it has a, uh, a 4 gigabyte SD card that comes along with it. Your 4 gigabyte card is going to be inside your little USB. This is for USB stick for putting it into your computer and transferring your videos. So that's also really, really nice. Now, let's go ahead. Also, I wanted to give you guys a tip. If you buy this and you get these style chargers and it has this on there, European Union, you need to buy one of these off Amazon. It's about $4. Just plugs right in. On the back, it has a little unlock switch and you can go ahead into plugging it into the side of the wall uh, for your outlet for charging. So pretty cool. These are about four bucks, like I said, on Amazon. Not bad at all. No big deal there. Now I'm going to go ahead and charge this battery up and we'll go outside and do some flight test. Okay, I've got my GoPro on my hat here. Let's just go ahead and do a flight test of this one inside the workshop right here. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the quad itself. By the way, this is a clone of a quad called the B Unstoppable. And I was playing around with the tread on here and this one is stoppable it doesn't like to go over large obstacles and things like that so um, you have to do this ground mode on a very flat surface and a very level surface um, but the cool thing is if you get stuck you can just flip back over to air mode and take off so to arm the transmitter and to get it bound up with your copter you're going to take the right the left stick here this is a throttle stick all the way up all the way down and now you're armed and you can hit the throttle and you'll see your props move I'm going to go ahead and turn on the transmitter here, the video monitor. You can see in real time here around the workshop. I'll set this here. I'm going to go ahead and start this for camera recording over here. And we'll do some takeoff footage as well. 
And I'm going to go ahead and start the camera on board by pressing this top left button here all the way to the right there. And it has three different speed modes in here, 40%, 60%, and 80%. And right now I have the transmitter set to mode 2. You can also turn the LEDs on and off, which is a super cool function. So that very middle button on the right should turn off the LEDs and should turn them back on. I like the LEDs, so I'm going to leave those going. So let's test out ground mode real quick while I have it sitting here. So I went ahead and hit that right top button right here, and we'll go ahead and see what she does. Uh, left stick will help it spin. All the way around in a circle. Right stick makes it go forward and backwards. But let's go ahead and switch into air mode real quick, and it's going to be a little bit noisy when I do take off. Here we go. I can stick it right to the ceiling. Okay, I'm back into ground mode. See if I can get off that little edge of the table there. Nice. I might fly over to the bench over here on this other side and see if I can go over some obstacles. We'll see how well that works. I'm ready for takeoff? Here we go. Okay, now I need to go into ground mode and I'll just pull it back a little bit there. Now I'm in ground mode and I can spin around. Let's try going over some obstacles. Got my laptop sitting there. I'm going to line it up and here we go, full speed. Looks to be stoppable. Not quite unstoppable. So it's not going to get up any kind of obstacles. But if you are on a flat surface, it will drive across the ground and that's pretty cool. And it seems to be pretty controllable. Just like a tank would be controlled. That's kind of fun because I've never had that before on a quadcopter. Let's go back to air mode and do a takeoff. Seems to have a lot of power indoors. Okay, let's go ahead and take off again. Now, this doesn't have a ton of power, you guys. This doesn't fly quite as light and nimble as some of the other toy quads I've flown. It really does kind of fly like a tank. It is pretty heavy, um, so it's not going to be super fast. And uh, it does have around a 100 meter range, so you're going to get a decent range with this one, but it's not going to be quite as nimble as something like a, a toy quad with brushless motors uh, or the racer quads. This is strictly uh, a toy quad, but it is functional. It does do some pretty cool maneuvers here. Um, and I can go ahead down into that 60 and 80% mode. I'm going to try that little faster mode now. And that'll let it turn a little more. It's going to stop this camera here. We'll go ahead and take back off. Now I'm going to assume that this has a low voltage cutoff, so when you get to a certain point of your battery, 
rather than killing your battery and hurting your lipo it's going to do a low voltage cutoff so it's going to stop the props probably mid-air and you're going to fall to the ground that's usually what happens with low voltage cutoff let's try that ground mode again that was kind of fun ground mode seems to be working pretty well on these flat surfaces and it's able to get up off of the edge of the table which is cool it takes a little practice to do the ground mode but it's still it's kind of fun because this is totally different than what I'm used to Those gears are working overtime to keep those tracks going. But it's fun to be able to do both. Switch back into air mode, do a couple, maybe a minute or so more of flying before this battery is totally done. We'll go ahead and take back off. It is pretty noisy. Stuck to the ceiling. Oh boy. We don't want to damage the flying wings. Come back over here. Probably about 30 seconds worth of flying time left. Alright guys, that is just about the end of that battery. If the battery does get too low, these lights are going to start flashing and you'll know it's very low voltage. I'm going to go ahead and stop the camera there. But I did get probably around at least five to six minutes flight time with this little WL Toys air tank and uh, it's actually kind of fun. Pretty different than what I've seen on the channel and and, and what we've flown for you in the past uh, seems to have a lot of options but then again it is a toy uh, it's not going to fly super wild or super fast but then again if you want to get out there and really get out there in the field on a calm day you can get out there to about 100 meters uh, so it will go pretty high if you guys are looking to fly high and it doesn't have prop guards so if you're flying it in the house like I was use caution and watch out for your your planes over on the other bench you don't want to hit your other stuff so thanks again for tuning in to the drone camps channel i'm justin davis and this has been the wl toys air tank i'll see you on the next one